this video is for that person who doesn't have a lot of time analyzing the market. Maybe you're employed, maybe you have your business, and most of the time you're not in the charts analyzing. Let me tell you, Lesson 69 will be a game changer. I just want to show you how do you analyze the market for swing trades. Remember, if you want to enter a trade, it has to be swing trade if you don't want to keep checking. But for the scalpers and for the day trader, sometimes you will keep checking your charts every single day because the trade is not a swing trade. So this lesson is dedicated for everyone who would want to know how do we trade monthly time frame. Why? Because monthly time frame will give you at least one month to hold your trade. It will give it will give you a projection of one month. So we are analyzing NSDSD, and because today is on a Monday, I want us to be doing back testing. So every day. Mondays, every Monday, if you want to see how backtesting is powerful, you know, backtesting gives you an idea of how the market can play out. It helps you to open up your mind. So I have dedicated Mondays to be backtesting Monday. So you have to have a notebook, you have to write things down so that you can get key points. There's things that keep repeating every time you're analyzing your charts and I will be, uh, this is what I will be giving you. Uh, in this video. So the first thing I want you to understand is that we check on the three things anytime you're doing top-down analysis. We do on the market structure. So when you see, when you check on the market structure, this market is on uptrend, like the market has been going up. But if we zoom out, the market is a sell. If you zoom out for many months, the market is a sell. You can consider this as a retracement. But if you're checking from which year, from 2020, the market has been buying for three good years. And you see, when we're analyzing, we don't analyze a lot of data. For me, if I'm on a daily, I go three months. I go three months uh, down. If on a mo monthly, I go three years down. That's how I'm able to check to get the overall. Like I am able to get the main data, the current data, to be able to project the way forward. So I have an uptrend here. And you can see the price action is a bearish engulf candle. But uh, the other way you can see that this market has been on a ranging. You can see this is a one candle ranging. So this market has not been able to push up. So we have a, like a ranging market stroke, an uptrend. And then the price action is a bearish candle. This bearish candle is trying to tell us that sellers have come in. And it's evident because for three months, the market has not been able to break that resistance. So it is not surprising for us to have that bearish engulf. Then the last thing, guys, we check is the Forex pattern. For me, I can see clearly a double top, possible double top. That's our Forex pattern. Now it's making sense why we have this big red candle. So you have to note that anytime you find a double top uh, on the monthly uh, this is the way you are supposed to trade it. So double tops on monthly or double bottoms on monthly, you there's a way you approach that double top. You can because you've been given a bearish engulf, you place a sale. There's something we call time frame alignment. Anytime a double top or a double bottom has been given on higher time frame, the next thing that you will do is call time frame alignment. Time frame alignment is that yes, monthly is saying a sale, but do you think um Higher time frame is saying the same. So this is a double top. This is our double top. And this double top happens to be our pattern one, guys. So this is our pattern one. We all know that pattern ones, they don't work well uh, immediately. Pattern one needs to first to misdirect everyone so that it can drop. So understanding that this is my pattern one, I'm not that ignorant or naive to come and put a sale. Because as much as I'm, I'm seeing these how many pips down, as much I'm seeing it's 514 pips, I will ask myself so many questions. The first question I will ask myself, this is a double top on an uptrend, which is hard to trade it. Double tops on an uptrend are not easy to trade. Why? Because the trade, the trend is all, it's, it's already a, an uptrend. You are trying to sell a market that is on uptrend. So the idea of, let me write it down for you. So this is what I discover. So double top on uptrend, it will be tricky. So the result will be tricky to trade it. 
It won't be hard because you can trade it, but it will be tricky. The next thing uh, I'm noticing is that the minute the market um the minute the market gives you a double top on the monthly, any pattern on the monthly is our first pattern. Our first P1, pattern one. So I cannot be directly trading pattern one. Why? Because I understand that this is P1, so there will be P2, there will be P3. I will need to be, to be careful. So all these things, the, the double top on an uptrend, which is tricky, the it's my first take profit, and then there is no RBS. You see, this double top does not have RBS. Um, for me, I believe that oh, it has RBS. Sorry, yeah, it has RBS. So it has RBS, meaning it can be used to sell. But the two other things are the ones that are pushing me away from selling. Now, the third thing is that anytime you have a double top on monthly. You need something that is called time frame alignment. We need time frame alignment. So time frame alignment is where, yes, monthly is a sell, but is weekly a sell. So here you come and say monthly, monthly equals sell. The question is, is weekly saying the same thing? If you go on and on and on, and every time frame is saying a sell, you can sell based on the time frame alignment. So let's go to the weekly time frame. Let's go to the weekly time frame. So when I check on the weekly time frame, I'm seeing a market that has that was ranging and it has broke that ranging. Meaning even weekly time frame is saying sell. Can you see guys? So even on the weekly time frame, we are being told this market is a sell. But the 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 red flag on the weekly time frame it it has already gone near our tp1 which is guaranteed tp2 is not always guaranteed so even on the weekly it is still suggesting a sell and my question is what is making this market to stop and here i don't have a support area what is what made this market to stop here so that a question i'm asking myself before i place the sell what is that that made that market to sell to stop there when I come to the daily time frame, when I come to the daily time frame and I take my arrow, I want to ask myself, what is it that the market has just stopped here? What is that? So I'm thinking the market has stopped because it has activated a double bottom, but that's not the case. In fact, there is no double bottom whatsoever. But according to daily, the market is sell. There is nothing. Nothing that is stopping this market. So many people, when they see there's nothing stopping, they will put their sell trade and they continue to sell. But do you know, guys, still I have four hour. So four hour is the overall to know. And what we are trying to do right now is time frame alignment. Other we, from the weeklies, the market suggesting a sell, daily sell, but four hour. Will four hour suggest I sell? So I squeeze four hour like this, I squeeze four hour like this, and I'm hoping to see something. So when I squeeze four hour time frame, I'm thinking here there is a support area. Let me show you that support. I will use two lines. So I have a support zone. You need to understand support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. So we have a red followed by green. It is making our support area. So I want to highlight this so that we can go on the daily to check if we have a double bottom. So I have highlighted. So I have highlighted like that. And you can see, you can see on this side, this double bottom, the double bottom that has been activated, that is our double bottom that has been activated. So adjusting the week, the market has to be at the week. You can see it has been adjust, it has been activated. That double top has been activated, guys. So when you go to the daily time frame, where we were seeing the market 
stopping. We didn't know why is it stopping. Apparently on four hour is a double bottom. This means four hour time frame has a double bottom. Monthly time frame has a double top. You see the contradiction of time frame. The only thing here we are trying to see is the time frame alignment. One time frame is telling me I have a double bottom and it's the four hour. And the monthly, I have a double top. So the question is, I want you to comment down below. Which one do you think it's? Do you sell with the monthly time frame, or do you wait for confirmation and buy using four hour? Which one do you think is powerful? So we have measured our half, and according to this half, we have RBS, meaning that double bottom, a uh, double bottom on four hour, it is very very powerful. Can you see? meaning that double bottom is powerful. The fact that we have RBS, it means this double bottom is powerful. So the question is, do we trade the double bottom on the four hour or the double top on the monthly? Guys, you always trade uh, the, 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 the current, the, the entry time frame is always four hour. So we are trading for our because it's the current time frame. Double bottom, we use CRB. And you can see here the market has broken. Here we have a very nice CRB market and it has broken. So <clears throat> here we have CRB. Already the market gave us an entry. So there are people who, were, who entered immediately the CRB happened and they went on a drawdown of 38 pips. So even we are being given at a discounted price. Now note how this everything has shifted from selling on the monthly to buying on the four. So let's see what happens. Long position. You can wait for the market to give you, you can go to lower time frame to wait to look for a candle that lays a bullish angle or a shooting, a, a, a pin bar or hammer for entry but for me i understand if crb has confirmed for me that is enough confirmation i need so once you enter this area you will use atr for stop loss when you use stop loss the lowest it's 41 pips so you can add another like 50 pips so that you can have a stop loss of like 50 pips guys Note, where is the market coming to? At the half of that double bottom. But we cannot ignore that the market can come here and activate this double top. So our trade will be around here, you see? So once we are done with this buy, I don't want to find myself buying again, hoping the market will go to the neckline. Why? Because I know on monthly, the market is sale. So this one will be used to stop out people but this double bottom is not those double bottom that push the market to the next I know. So I buy, I buy like that and the market starts to sell, sell and starts to come up. So I will, I will take, I will go high uh, faster so that we can see. You see what is happening here. If you don't understand this double bottom is only on four hour, you will have given up at this ranging. Many people give up at this ranging. You'll have given up, given up at that ranging and there's nothing you can do. But for that person who understand that this market is a higher, uh, my analysis are from higher time frame. Yes, I had a double top on the, on the monthly. Then on four, I have a double bottom. My chances is to reach at least half. This ranging, it's, it's to misdirect people. Guys, did I tell you that this is our pattern two? Pattern two, it is that pattern that can give you, um, what do we call it? Can give you headache. Why? Because it you're not even pattern two. When you're trading pattern two, you can't trade it up to the neckline. You trade it up to the half and then you look for pattern three. That's how I trade it. Because I understand when you have pattern two, and you try to trade to the neckline, 
of the time it does not reach because it's patent. So let's, we are patient enough. So you get that ranging and the market uh, finally hit your take profit. So if I go like this, almost hitting take profit and it has hit take profit. Not only it has hit take profit, but it has gone to the half. It has gone to the half. The question, guys, is that notice this price, this market, you are given to trade it on the monthly. So we go to the monthly time frame, and we want to see what is happening on the monthly. Immediately we were told to sell, guys. Immediately we were told to sell. This market started to buy. This market started to do what? To buy. Now we understand that we have a we have a way, a shortcut of now or a good discounted price that we can enter. So if that candle closes, that month closes. Let's see how the month closed. So the month closed like that. And here you already know that the market is a sell. It's just that the market has started to go up. I want to show you what happens when now you understand that this market is going down. So you go to weekly time frame. This is your weekly time frame, and you spot a double top. Guys, can you spot that double top? You spot that double top and say to yourself, if if this double top give me an entry, I will hold up to the neckline. Because by the time it is giving you an entry, they will have broken half. So you wait on the weekly time frame. Now this is the second month. You wait for the, oh, it has not even, that candle had not closed. So let's see what happens. So the next candle, we are waiting for it to break half. It has not broken half. You can see how um, the market is uh, the market is um, ranging. So it has not broken half. So this is this is double top that has broken half. Now that's the only way, guys, you can enter that cell. And let me tell you, once you enter this cell. You're not entering to come out. This is a cell that you're holding up to where? To the neckline. Let me delete. Let me delete so that you can see. Notice we got an entry or using monthly, but the market first bought. And now we have gotten a new double top. And this is my neckline, guys. And the double top happens to break where? To break half. So I'm entering this trade short position. I'm entering this trade immediately half was broken and I will swing trade it. Why am I comfortable to swing trade it? It's because I understand that this market has given me a discounted price and that's 228 pips. 228 pips. So guys, let's see what really happened after you enter that trade. Within no time, within no time, guys, how many weeks? So, in fact, this trade, you waited for one month for it to hit take profit. Because once you entered around here, the market took how many weeks? One, two, three. The fourth week, that's when the take profit was hit. And that's why we are seeing on the monthly time frame. After the market gave you a bearish angle, bought with two months and then came down. And now when I have a trade like this, I don't trade it any longer because now we are not trading a double top. We have this market like a double bottom. For me, I don't trade it. What we want just to see, did this market give us, did it, end, did it go to the half? That's what I would want to see. But for me, I will not I will not trade this trade anymore because you can see how how long it is taking for the market to go down. So it took only one week for this double top to to get to your take profit. Why were we so confident with this double top? It's because already sell had been given out. Sell was already established long time ago. 
So it was a matter of entering. So I want to show you what really happened to that double top. Did it hit the tick profit? You can see now how many months the market is, um, the market has, has started to go back. So for me, I cannot, uh, if I was trading on this market, I would have looked for another pattern. Because yes, the market structure might um, stay. You can see, finally, the half was activated. But it's for how long? And that's why swing traders, they make a lot of money. Why? They waited for many months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 months. That's one year for a double top to hit half. Guys, I hope this was helpful for you. All you need to do is that once monthly gives you an entry, you have to be very careful because that is your pattern one. You have to be very careful to go to lower time frame and look for pattern two so that you can be able to do what to trade it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you will be able now to trade and you'll be able to trade swing trades. You'll be able to hold. There's a reason why people hold because they already know what is happening. Thank you so much and I love you. Bye-bye.